What's up creators, welcome back to the channel. What you just saw here in the beginning of the video is my new CR Urban LUT pack, which includes six new LUTs that I created from scratch on C-Log footage, and I also tested it on GH5 footage and Sony footage. So these new LUTs, they were created on log footage, but they work on most flat picture profiles. If your flat picture profile isn't flat enough, you might have to dial in and add some contrast and some saturation to it. And if it's overpowering, you might have to dial down the actual LUT on your footage. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how these LUTs look on footage that I have and I'm gonna show you guys how to tweak it to make it look good. Basically how to color grade using LUTs. Also, if you're interested in purchasing these new LUTs, there's a link down below, but let's head over to the computer and let's get started color grading using these LUTs. All right, so starting off here, we got four clips loaded into Adobe Premiere Pro. This one is shot on the GH5 in uh, V-Log. These two are off the Canon 1DX Mark II using CineStyle, which is a flat picture profile, but it's not a log profile. It's not C-Log and this is is shot on the EOS R and C log this last clip. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and start adding some LUTs to these and trying to color grade these. Let's start with the first clip. What you're gonna wanna do is come to the color tab right here and this is how we'll color and you wanna make sure that your Lumetri scopes is pulled up so you can see where the blacks are, where the whites are and where the colors are shifting towards. So let's highlight that. What we're gonna wanna do is come to the creative tab over here on the right side. Let's go to look, browse and we're gonna bring in one of the new LUTs that I've created. Let's do city evenings, open. Now, as you can see, it actually looks pretty good already as it is. It looks a little purple to me. So every time that you put a LUT onto footage, it's not always going to be perfect just because every temperature is shot differently and scenarios are different. But what you're going to want to do is shift the colors and the temperature and the tint to make it look good. So I think the purples are popping here too much. So I would want to bring the green over a little bit on tint and even bring down the temperature a little bit and make it a little cooler. And off the rip, I think that looks pretty good starting from scratch and dropping that LUT on there. But if it is too intense for you, you can bring down the intensity of the LUT all the way to nothing, all the way back to 100%. If you can bring it down, it'll make it a little more flat. I think that it looks good at 100. Now that we got our colors right a little bit, I think that we can even make those highlights bloom a little bit more on those lights behind him. Bring down the shadows a tad bit, bring down the blacks a tad bit, and even the whites I could bring down a little bit. And you can toggle it on and off, you can see the difference there. I think that already looks pretty good. So let's take that off, let's go to effects controls, take the Lumetri color off, and let's add another LUT. Let's see what another LUT would look like, let's see. Let's drop on the tans. And this is looking very purple, so what we're going to want to do is bring down the the tint toward the green a little bit. I think I want to boost the warm there. Kind of like the way that's looking right there. Even boost the highlights a little bit. Bring the blacks up for a little bit more detail. And off the rip, I think that looks pretty good. You do have a little color banding, but that's just with the GH5 in general right here with those teals. So if you want to mess around with your colors, you can add this dropper click in there and you can see where that blue is those teals are popping and kind of like shifting in the footage but you can bring it down so you don't see it that much you can even grab again and go for that greenish yellow tint right there didn't pick it up but it's about right here but we want to keep that green in there a little bit for his jacket pull this down a little bit toggle it on and off i think that looks good right there that's pretty nice that looks really good toggle it on and off see the difference all right let's take that off and let's add a different one on flat urban teal let's try that so it gives like a flat look so the blacks are incre uh, increased higher so it makes it like a faded look if you toggle it on and off it looks pretty good as it is honestly all i would do is bring the sharpness up a little bit maybe the vibrance maybe the saturation down a little bit those purples are still booming a little bit Bring that green over, bring the warmness up a little bit, warm up the temperature, 6.9. We can even punch it, the contrast a little more, bring the blacks down a little bit more, make them a little darker. That looks good. All right, let's take off the Lumetri color and let's add on, let's do the black and white, the cool black and white. 
really cool vibe right there actually and it's a little faded look so we can even drop in bring those blacks down bring the mids down boost the contrast a tad bit bump those highlights up maybe bring the whites down a little bit that looks pretty good right there that looks that's actually super dope toggle it on and off you can see the difference what that LUT did it looks good you still got some details in the darks so i actually crushed it a little bit harder so it would look a little more crushed i kind of like that look personally but if you want to keep all the details and not um, crush your blacks then you can bring in that LUT like that and where your blacks crush at actually you have a lot of detail in there and you can even bring in bring up the shadows a little bit more to keep a lot of detail in that shot it still looks pretty flat but that's because on the LUT I didn't go too intense I wanted to keep like a lot of detail in shots but yeah it looks cool so let's move on to the Canon footage this was shot on center style this is a flat picture profile so it's not log um, so it has more contrast than actual log and these will affect this clip a little bit more intense So let's drop on the warm blues Let's go back because these clips were actually shot a lot cooler than they were supposed to be They're not the actual perfect temperature. So let's take that elementary off Go to basic corrections and let's add a little warmth into the shots to make them around the right temperature that they should be So let's do 22% and then go to this one 22 I think that looks like a regular shot. That's how the white balance should have been exposed for. So now let's add on that LUT over that corrected white balance. And boom, as you can see, it's really, really intense because this wasn't shot in log and these uh, LUTs were actually made on log footage. So what you would wanna do is bring the intensity of this LUT down to zero and start from zero going up until about where you see the detail still in there. So if we go over to these elementary scopes, you can see the blacks are pushed and the whites are pushed already using this. So if we bring it down to zero, you see it comes up off of the lines. The top here is represents the highlights. The bottom represents the blacks. And what you really want to do is once it gets to this line, it means it's crushing or it's overexposing if you're talking about highlights. So you can dial up your LUT until about where it looks like it looks like it's crushing right there. So as you can see, the different effect that it's added onto it looks pretty good. And even even still, I like to crush my stuff, so I would push it a little bit further. Come over here to the shadows, bring up the shadows a little bit. And I'd probably make it a little bit more warm. Now, if you see the difference there, it looks pretty good. That looks good. So the idea is to not just drop a LUT on your footage and crush it, because this is what it would look like. And as you can see, your blacks are totally gone. Your whites are totally gone. Just doesn't look good. So let's undo that. We got it at about 29. Let's drop it at 25. You can still see some highlights here in your blacks. You can still see some uh, detail in your sky right here where the cloud is. It looks pretty good. Toggle on and off. So let's go to this clip again. Go to effects controls. And let's take off this symmetry color. Start from scratch. Again, let's add on 22 to bring that white balance to the proper look and then let's go to creative and bring in a different LUT. Let's do cool greens. So now it gives us a cooler greenish tint and as you can see it's crushed pretty hard so let's bring down the intensity of it to zero. Open up Lumetri scopes. It looks pretty close to being crushed already so let's dial it up a little bit so we think it looks good. The Lumetri scopes is pushing really hard on the black and white at this point but it looks good. So we can come here, we can bring up our shadows a little bit just to give us a little more detail. Bring our highlights down. If you really wanna see those clouds up there, you can bring your highlights down. Let's warm it up a little bit more. And bring some more green in. Let's push this LUT a little bit harder. And let's bring those shadows up a little bit more so you can see a little detail here down there. You can see the wrinkles in the jacket. So let's toggle it on and off. I think that looks cool. That's definitely cool. And then if we wanna, let's go to effects control. Let's copy this LUT and that warmth correction on the white balance, command C. Let's come over here to this clip. Let's take this warmth off because I've got it already copy and pasted from the other clip and let's paste this on here. So now this is the same grade that we did on this other clip. This is around the same time, just a different angle. And as you can see, if you toggle it on and off, it looks really good. It looks really cool. Even in this one, it looks a little too warm. So let's bring down the warmth. Um, I think that we could even, let's go to the metric scopes, we could probably push this a little bit more on this clip. 
pushed it a little bit. Let's bring down the highlights a little bit more. Bring down the whites a little bit. Now let's leave the blacks where they're at. You can even play with your contrast to see your details and where it's at. Bring your exposure down a little bit. I think that looks really cool. So that's basically all it is to it with when you're color grading with LUTs is figuring out the intensity of the LUT. You don't want to just drop it on and leave it there. You want to kind of play with it, move it up, move it down, try to find that sweet spot where you can still catch some details, but you still get an intense look from that LUT and make sure it looks good. Let's go to our last clip, which is shot on sea log. This is me on my Colorado road trip, which is coming soon, but this is shot in sea log flat picture profile. And as you can see over here, the blacks are high. The whites aren't all the way pushing a little bit up here in the corner. The whites are kind of blown a little bit there, but the sky, it looks really good. You can see the clouds, the colors, the blues, everything. So let's highlight this. Let's go to creative, the look, browse. Let's bring in a LUT. Let's do, um, let's drop in the warm blues. As you can see, it kind of pushes pretty intense. If you look over here on Lumetri scopes, the highlights are blown, the blacks are crushed. So let's bring down the intensity down to zero and let's start from scratch and let's drag it up until we see these blacks start to hit that line and these highlights are already hitting here. But what I'm mostly worried about is the highlights over here in this section. These highlights are already pretty blown. So as I add this LUT onto it and make it more intense, those are gonna blow out, which is fine as long as this here and my blacks have detail. So let's push it a little bit more. I think about like right here looks really good. Toggle it on and off, you see what's going on. And we can come back to our basic corrections and bring up the uh, shadows a little bit. And then we can come back over here and bring in the more intensity of the LUT. Now, if you look over here, the blacks are starting to hit the line, the whites are starting to hit the line over here. You still got some detail in the sky and you're getting the effect of this LUT, the colors of this LUT in here. And I honestly think the blues are a little too blue, so I would warm it up a little bit, personally. After all, this LUT is called the warm blues. So we got the blues, you kind of got your blues here in the blacks, in the black on the truck, the blacks in the jacket, on the car, you can see the blues a little bit, but you want your, everything else kind of be warm because the warm blues. I kind of like that. So if you look at that from flat sea log to applying the LUT and tweaking it, that looks pretty good. This looks good. Detail looks good. I think that looks good. Let's try one more. Let's go to effects controls here. Get glumetric color, delete that off. Um, come back over here to the look, browse. Let's bring in the cool black and white again. Oh, this looks really good. So when I do black and white, I really like when the whites are pure white and the blacks are pure black. So this is crushing everything. And let's bring in Lumetri scopes. As you can see, the blacks and whites are crushed. And with black and white, you kind of can't go too low because your colors start spilling back in, as you can see. So I would use this full intensity. Um, I probably bring up the shadows a little bit, maybe bring down the highlights a little bit, bring up the whites a little bit. I think that looks pretty good for a black and white clip. It's got like a cool tone to it because it's called cool black and white. It's kind of added some coolness to it. But if you want to warm it up a little bit, you can just come here to your shadows and add some warmth into your shadows and it'll take away that, uh, let's toggle it on and off. It'll take away that coolness to it. You can make it a warm black and white, which looks good. This kind of looks like some old footage. If you put like some vintage overlay over top of it, it could look like, um, you know, just some throwback footage. It gives you that nostalgic vibe of something being old. Yeah, these look pretty good, man. So that's kind of how you dial in and tweak these LUTs to work on different footage. As you can see, this was a flat picture profile, drop the LUT on, bring the intensity down, and it looks good. And then on the C-Log and then on the GH5 footage. So that's basically it. You want to pay attention to your Lumetri scopes as you're dialing in. So go to effects control, take the Lumetri color off, come back to Lumetri scopes come to creative, add on a LUT, boom, way intense. Let's drop it all the way down. As you can see over here on your Lumetri scopes, your blacks, you got a lot of detail left. You got some deep, like a lot of detail in your sky as well. And then you just go from there with dialing up that LUT until it peaks a little bit or until it looks good by your eye on this. If you like it, if you're not too technical and you don't pay attention to Lumetri scopes that much, 
you can dial it by your eye, whatever looks good to you, because we all have our own certain styles and tastes to footage. I like mine to be crushed, kinda. A lot of people like to save that detail just to have that more realistic cinema look. But yeah, you just keep an eye on your Lumetri scopes. Make sure you don't drop LUTs as is. Make sure you tweak them up a little bit. And that's pretty much how it goes with color grading with LUTs. So hopefully this tutorial on color grading with LUTs helped you out. If it did, slap that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about these new LUTs if you do purchase them. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.